I wanted to say uh, something about um, uh, focusing on one object versus open awareness or open monitoring or panoramic awareness, um, as it's called these days. Um, and, the, and again, I, I'm so so often saying the old days, you know, as if the 70s and the 80s were the old days. Well, in the old days, it was really a sense of you're doing one or the other, either focusing on the breath, you know, getting a little bit settled, a little bit settled there, and then at some point, open, open, opening, open awareness, you know, open, pretty much panoramic awareness, just whatever's there, just noticing whatever's there. <clears throat> I struggled with that for a long time. Um, it, it seemed like a pretty abrupt shift, you know, not a gradual opening. It, it occurred to me, what about gradual opening of the aperture of the camera? Do you know, when, you're, when we're moving from one object, why not, and then it occurred to me one day, why not, first of all, go from one object to two? or three before opening to whatever. Yeah? And in fact, why not open to something that is a little bit more concrete, something in the sensory realm? Not, we don't want to open to thoughts immediately because those, are, those will hijack us, you know? That, those are the ones that will sweep us away, yeah? So I've played with this for a long time. And I'd like to share this as a uh, a, a kind of approach uh, when you begin to move from, from one object to want to be a little bit more inclusive in your meditation practice, yeah? And it's simply this. Um, I'm reminded of the, the, the metaphor, I'm big, big on metaphors, as you know, we both are, of um, like a bee, a bee and a flower, you know? It's moving around, moving around, it not actually leaving, not actually leaving the, leaving the flower, but moving around to several spots within the flower, right? And then occasionally zooming in, ah, and staying for a moment, right? Staying for a moment in one spot that happens to be particularly sweet. Or a hummingbird, uh, where we teach, teach out in the mountains of New Mexico, there are hummingbirds and we'll do these deck walks out by the, uh, by the hummingbird feeders. And it's such a trip to watch them. And uh, <clears throat> they'll move very, very quickly from one spot to another uh, and then zero in and then zero in for a moment. But move, moving, moving, moving quickly from one thing to another, do you know? And it's kind of like this. When I move from the breath, when I'm ready to open awareness, I'll first of all go to one of two, two things, either other sensations in the body or sounds first before just throwing the doors wide open. And this can be very useful in working also with a somewhat restless mind because it gives the mind something to do. Look, the mind is jumping around anyway, isn't it? So it simply gives the mind some place to jump, 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 jump. And so it actually allows, the, it, it, it's working with the energy of the mind that's a little bit agitated, but it's giving it more than one place to locate. Boom, 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 boom. Sometimes it can just be in different parts of the breath, but it also could be different body sensations, the contact points, you know, with the floor or the cushion. Or, or various sounds. I tend to get inclined towards sounds as well. Yeah. But rather quickly, but rather quickly at first, so that the mind doesn't get distracted and carried away by some thought stream. You know? So it's actually moving, noticing in the, in, right in the territory, in the present moment, sound, sound, another sound, body sensation, body sensation, another sensation of the breath. And then, at times, Zeroing in on one. You know, oh, there's a sensation. Or let me stop with that sound for a moment. And then moving about again a little. Yeah, yeah. And for me, that's a kind of um, a midway step between 
the, the, the focus, a more narrow uh, attention to, to, to more, more like one object, you know, to multiple objects. Uh, and I have found it extraordinarily helpful uh, and more helpful than simply going from one object to just throwing the doors wide open. Those usually thoughts are the first thing that rush in there anyway. And that's where we tend to get hijacked. Yeah. Mm. And this also cultivates a quality that isn't um, focused on that much in, in instruction, which is precision of mindfulness. It cultivates a kind of a sharpness, a sharpness of noticing, a noticing of detail. And uh, so, so there's often we can get into a, a kind of, um, not exactly foggy, but a, a general sense of mindfulness, but not necessarily with a lot of precision, you know, in there. And I find that quality also a helpful one to cultivate. Yeah. 